Hello, this is Giorgio Lucas. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I want to talk about real estate in Dubai and why I think it will not be a good investment going forward. So here are 10 reasons why I think you should not invest in the Dubai real estate market. Number one, and I think this is the main reason, there is an oversupply of property in Dubai. There's just a glut of apartments there with an occupancy rate of less than 40%. Now, this is a problem because um, in Dubai, they're still building. And if you only have a 30 to 40% occupancy rate now, think about what that's going to be in the future if there's no demand. This will depress property prices. It obviously has to. Number two, what I also worry about Dubai is the lack of diversification in its economy. It's very reliant on the energy sector and, and the housing sector. So if either has a, has a problem or the recession will be even worse. Other European countries... Uh, North America and Asian countries, for example, have different sectors to keep it going. So if one doesn't do so well, it doesn't affect the economy so much as in, let's say, Dubai, which, for example, one sector goes bad, let's say the housing market, and the whole country can, I will not, not collapse, but it, it can lead to a very, very deep recession. Number three, which I also think is very important, is the tensions in the Persian Gulf have got a lot worse over the last few years. And I, I do say that uh, really with a big U, unfortunately. And this is affecting the Dubai market and it will affect it going forward. You've got the UAE um, and Saudi Arabia on one side having tensions with um, Iran and also Qatar on the other side. Now, these tensions do not seem to be easing. And I think going forward, that will also depress the market in Dubai. Number four, Dubai is a mature market. Um, you're not going to get any type of first mover ad advantage there. It's a well-known market. It's not like a market in, for example, Colombia or other countries in Asia, let's say Cambodia, where if you do go in there, you may be getting an advantage before other people move in. Very mature market. Uh, number five, uh, oil prices have uh, of late been very depressed chiefly because of COVID-19. And this will affect Dubai. Um, several years ago, there was um, a housing crash in Dubai. But as Abu Dhabi still had a lot of oil reserves, uh, they were able to bail out Dubai. In the future, this may not be the case because um, if oil prices do go down, Abu Dhabi itself will be affected. So if there's a housing crash in Dubai, Abu Dhabi will not be able to support Dubai as it did several years ago. Um, number seven, what I also don't like is that Dubai is really, really almost entirely driven. Its property market is almost entirely driven by expats living there and foreign investors. Now, in the future, if Dubai is less attractive for foreign investors, the market again could crash. So if you go in now and buy, this could seriously affect you in the future. And expats, Yes, you've got the expats in Dubai, but expats are not going to be loyal to the area. If they find somewhere better to go, that could also depress the market. Now, I know there's a lot of foreign investment in places like London, Paris, Berlin and New York. And this has happened over the last few years. But these markets also are driven a lot by locals. In fact, they're, they're mainly driven by locals, and particularly here in London. I know they talk about lots of foreign buyers pushing the market up, but it's chiefly driven by the locals. Uh, this is not the case in Dubai, so I, I do worry about that aspect as well. Number eight is taxes. Now, traditionally, Dubai has been considered like, yeah, a 0% tax country. This has started to change because in recent years, uh, registration on property tax has gone up from 2% to 4%. VAT has also been introduced at 5%. And I only see... Uh, these taxes going up in Dubai and this again would put off foreign buyers in the future so if you do go in now I think that may well affect you. Number nine the UA dirham is tied to the US dollar and the US dollar is actually really high at the moment so if you're buying particularly from EU countries the UK um, other countries in Asia with the US dollar being so strong you're not going to get any kind of a bargain uh, and this ties in to point number six, where I was saying I think Dubai market is quite expensive. Now, point number 10, last but not least, 
and I never like this when there's rent caps in a country because you, as a landlord, you cannot freely negotiate contracts. So it is on like a sliding scale. So for example, if you're charging a tenant uh, 40% below market rent in that area and you want to bring it up to the what everybody else is paying in the area, you can't do that. The maximum you can increase that by is 20%. And also, for example, if um, it's, let's say in the area your tenant is paying 20 to 30% below market value, you can only increase the rent by 10%. And finally, you've also got the sliding scale. If your tenant is paying between zero and 10% below market value, you cannot increase the, the rent at all. And this is, a, this is a problem, I think, because it actually depresses the market as well. So there I've given you 10 reasons why I think you shouldn't invest in the Dubai real estate market. If you think I've been too severe, let me know. But I do strongly believe that you should definitely stay out of this market. And if you're looking to buy abroad, invest in other markets, of which I will tell you coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching this program again. I'll see you on my next episode. And amazingly, have a great day. Bye-bye.